Good afternoon, everybody. Uh-oh. It's past midnight, and you got snack attack. Where are you gonna go to get your snacks? You're gonna go to Sheets. Now, folks, I don't condone late-night snacking, but I'm guilty of it myself. And if your Walmart's closed, and your Taco Bell is closed, you got one spot to go in Western PA, and that is to Sheets. But you're gonna pay dearly for Sheets. We're gonna go walk through and we're gonna see the kind of things that you can buy at Sheets and the prices at Sheets. And you tell me if you think you wanna shop at Sheets when you need your snack fix. 229 for one of these sad looking donuts, really. Yeah, I think I'm not going keto at that price for this little tiny bar of whatever this thing is. Wow, who's buying these? Uh, holy guacamole. <laughs> Where I come from, these are called Pop-Tarts and these are two for $6. Um, hey folks, you're only getting one of these in a packet, not even like two like a regular Pop-Tart. These sad little donuts, three ounces, the hostess, two for four twenty-five. So it's two dollars and twelve cents for a little pack of donuts. Does anybody remember when these were like under a buck? You do know you can get these in the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five, right? Almost five dollars from some Sarah Lee bread here. Four nineteen, four forty-nine sold out. Got a headache? Well, you just got a bigger one by coming to Sheets because you're gonna pay $10 for some Tylenol for some Advil here. Hey, fellas, is it just me or do these look shockingly small? Um, I remember when these used to be like, what is this? This is not even enough gas treatment. You can maybe have a quarter tank of gas in your car. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this. Smoke detector stopped working. Well, they got you here at Sheets. 849 for two nine volt batteries. Got a hot date? Want to spruce up that vehicle of yours? Well, Armor All's got you covered for five bucks. Hopefully you don't have a flat tire, because if you do, it's gonna cost you 11 bucks. Pump it up and get to a Walmart Supercenter. Okay, six ounces. I know beef jerky's expensive, but six ounces? Guys, for $21.99, what's the magic inside of these? Do they get you high or something? Want to impress your friends with some wild game sticks? Well, four of them here. Is it four? Uh, yeah, it's four of them. You get four of them here for six seventy nine at Sheets. Like combos? Yep, me too. But you're gonna pay three fifty nine for a bag of combos here, folks. I don't know about you. I like candy from time to time. I think all our kids like candy. But has anyone seen the meteoric rise in the price of candy? Three dollars and nineteen cents. Look at this. Just two regular Twix bars. Almost two bucks a piece for a Twix bar. The Hershey's are already two bucks a piece. M&M's getting close to the two bucks a piece. Snickers. What is your favorite candy bar and what are you paying for candy bars in your neighborhood right now? Does anybody remember when a big bag of Doritos used to cost that? Now you get the little one that's two and three quarters. They couldn't even make it three ounces for us, huh, folks? I heard Red Bull gives you wings. Well, for $2.79, you can have eight ounces of blue wings, red wings, orange wings, yellow wings. Which one do you prefer? I like the way people in videos, my videos, say to me all the time, don't drink soda, which I don't really anyway, drink water. Well, here's the price of water, folks. One nineteen for a 12 ounce, eight ounce, 12 ounce bottle. It's one of the small ones anyway, 139. All right, healthy people. 329 for water, 429 for water. 439, 529 for a bottle of water. Come on now. What kind of water are you drinking and what are you spending for your water right now? Total corporate greed ripoff, two for six. And what are they regular? 339. But you know, you can go to Walmart and still get them for $1.79 a piece. Need some calcium in your life? Want to build some strong bones? Well, they're going to charge you $6.49 for a gallon of milk here. Well, we all know. Well, we, I guess we don't all know. But for people in the know, you can go to uh, Walmart and you can get it for $4.42 for a two gallon of milk. Well, I guess you can't complain because they're about the same price everywhere now for a two liter bottle of soda. It's all hovering around the $4 range. And I was 
doing a video the other day in one of the grocery stores. It was $4.29 for a bottle of soda. Who's drinking soda and what kind of soda are you drinking? Up here, they give you a little break. It's $3.39 for the Mountain Dews, the Bark, Seagram's. Boy, you better hope you don't get a snack pack before you walk in here because you're going to be paying $5.59 for one bag of Doritos. And then they've got a few other brands here, Schneider or Berlin, which I've never had, $4.79 for a bag. Does anybody else think that the price of potato chips has gone insane, guys? You're looking at between five and ruffles. It's the big brands are charging the most. Oh, my God. Here's a party size one. That would have been good for the Super Bowl yesterday. Six fifty nine for a party size. So you're way better off shopping at anywhere else but a gas station. Got a sweet tooth? I remember, oh my goodness, these are just minuscule now. I remember when these used to be two packs of these for $1 before the pandemic. Now they are two oh nine a piece. And they have the chocolate chip and they have uh, the chocolate brownie one. We've got a few different kinds here, oatmeal raisins. But these used to be two for a buck, folks. Want some gummy worms? Well, don't come here. Go to Dollar General. You can get all of these brands for like a buck. And if you go to Dollar Tree, buck 25. And yeah, you can get Starburst and all of those ones at the Dollar Tree. Um, I know Twin Snakes, my wife got for me the other day, and my daughter got the uh, Haribo Gold Bears. Like milkshakes? Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't eat them or drink them. My kids love them. This is a pretty good deal, I guess, two for six, or a regular, just about four bucks for a for real milkshake. If you've never had one of these things, they're actually pretty cool because you just um, pick your flavor from here and then you stick it in this cup and it blends it for you. And you can like pick what kind of blend you want as well. Comment below if you've tried one of these blend sip chill for real guys, because we get them for the kids all the time and they go bananas for them. Here's our little snack thing. Ooh, delicious Lunchables. Three twenty-nine for a lunch pools here. Two bucks anywhere else, I guess, or below. And these O snaps. I remember when these were a buck. Now they're two nineteen for some pickles. Anybody buy buy these or try them? Piece of cake, five dollars. Come on now. Now I make fun of the prices of grocery stores for these things, but this is twelve ounces for these box meals. Eight sixty-nine, folks, for a microwavable meal. Are you buying this? Who's buying this? My daughter, Starla, loves these pickled red beet eggs. Um, the problem is they're two nineteen for two eggs. Make them yourself at home. Make like a billion of them for 10 bucks. Wedge sandwich, anybody? These tiny little wedge sandwiches, like I can maybe like five bites. If you're Joey Chestnut, one bite, $5 for one sandwich. Well, in conclusion, folks, um, I'd say if you've got a sweet tooth and you need a snack, you don't come here or to any gas station really for your sweets. Stock up before the game or stock up before nine o'clock at night before Walmart closes in your neighborhood because if you come here, it's mad robbery. So thanks for watching and I know it's a short video today, but I just wanted to show you the price of what gas station snacks and food are like. They're double what everywhere else is, folks. So, I mean, if you're in a pinch and it's two o'clock in the morning, you live in a neighborhood like I do where nothing's open at like past six o'clock. Um, maybe you're stuck having to go to sheets and at least you have the option. And in the next video, I'm actually gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the kiosk. And the kiosk is really awesome if you've never um, used the kiosk here for food. Um, Wawa is uh, somewhere I prefer a lot more, but this is what we're stuck with in Western PA. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and uh, keep the comments going below and let me know what you guys think about um, about Sheets gas station food. <laughs>